From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Drs. Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impe Presents. Growing ties between Turkey, China, and Iran worry Israel and the United States. That's right up front on the important global headlines that we have for you. Because the Bible reveals so very, very much about the Middle East, we ended the program last week talking about the problems there. And we're going to pick up on it once again this week. Our headlines are filled with what's happening there. It's everywhere, Rexella. We've had 9-11, as I said. We have had the shoe bomber, the underwear bomber. We have had many American-born Muslims who were going to try to bomb all of the subways in New York City. The same thing in Washington, D.C. We had another American-born Muslim named Alaki who was commandeering everything presently in Yemen, and they sent some jets across loaded with bombs, and they had a clock that would have exploded over Boston and New York City. Fortunately, they were cut off before it happened, and so we thank God that was averted, and it goes on and on. And then we have Iran that says we've got 40,000 who are ready to come to America as suicide bombers. The terrorists of Egypt went through the Christian community torching their homes, burning them. God help us, God help us. What does this book say? Thou shalt not kill, Exodus 20, 13. Chapter 21, verse 12. He that smites a man so he dies shall be put to death. Leviticus 24, 17. He that killeth a man shall surely die. He said, well, Jesus didn't feel that way. Wait a minute. In Mark 9, 42, he said, whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it were better than a millstone were hanged around his neck and he were cast into the sea. That sounds like capital punishment to me. My, oh, my, I couldn't help but think. One day we are going to have peace on earth. I'll tell you, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And the only one that can do that is our Lord. And he said, I'm coming back and I'm going to bring peace on the earth. We're going to talk about it in just a moment. But let's go on, if you will, please. Turkey, Israel is main threat to Middle East peace. Growing ties between Turkey, China, Iran, worry, Israel, and the U.S. Remember, I mentioned that at the beginning of the program. U.S. believes that Chinese companies are helping Iran develop nukes. They're helping them. Again, Iran warns about threat of Israel's atomic warheads to global peace. Are you kidding? My, oh, my. And Iran nukes could wipe Israel off map in seconds. That's what they say. And why Israel needs the bomb. Take a look. Palestinian Authority, give us a state or it's war. Now you can see how they are rising up against Israel and saying you will never be recognized even as a state. We're not going to recognize Israel. They're not even on their map. That's what you said. God says in Genesis 12, 3, I will bless them that bless you, Israel, and curse them that curse you. Psalm 122, 6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you. The Bible teaches that there's going to be another great time of persecution for the Jewish people, and we see it coming, even with the attitude of our present toward Israel and Netanyahu. Daniel 12, 1, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was for the Jew, but at that time they shall be delivered. Let's go on. Jesus speaks about this in Matthew 24, 9. He says, you, my Jewish people, shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. John 16, 2, the time will come that whosoever kills you will think he's doing God a service. In Matthew 24, 21, he says, for then shall be great tribulation such as never was since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever 
shall be. But except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now the elect believers of 1 Peter 1, 2 and Titus 1, 1 have been raptured to come up hither. We're gone. But the elect here are his precious people, the Jews. What? He calls them mine elect in Isaiah 42, 1, 45, 4, 65 verses 9 and 22. Now, God loves Israel. They are his chosen people. They're the apple of his eyes, Zechariah 2, 8. And as I said, they are his elect. And God forbid that anyone tries to do what Iran wants to do for. He says, my goal is to get rid of them, drive them into the sea, remove them from the face of the earth. Well, you can't even find that on most Arab maps now. They're not recognizing Israel as a nation. So there's going to be real war, the one in Joel 3, 2, because they split the land. And Rexella, this little Hitler, Ahmadinejad, says, I'll kill him. And he wants to fulfill Psalm 83, 4, let us cast Israel off from being a nation, that their name be no more in remembrance. We'll make the world forget him. No, you won't. For Yahweh God in heaven says in Isaiah 56, 5, I will give Israel an everlasting name. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I say again. They'll prosper who love you, Israel. Mm, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. One day it's going to happen. And as I said a moment ago, it's when the Lord comes back and sits in that city, Jerusalem. He puts his foot on the Mount of Olives and he's going to bring peace. He's going to stop Armageddon and all the war. Is God finished with Israel? Oh, does he love Israel? Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, because this is exciting stuff. First of all, God gave the Ten Commandments to a Jew, Moses, in Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 to 17. Secondly, he gave all the covenants. Thirdly, there are 66 books in this Bible, and the Jews wrote 64 of them, and a Greek Gentile wrote two. His name was Luke, and he also wrote the book of Acts. We could go on and on. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ was the Lamb of God, and he was foreordained before the foundation of the world to come here and do what he did in 1 Peter 1.20. But when God planned this and the Trinity set it all up, he sent his son among the Jews. He was born of a Jewish virgin, Mary. He came unto his own, John 1.11, the Jews. And there's no doubt about it that Jesus was a Jew. Though he did not have a human father, he was conceived miraculously by the Holy Spirit placing this body in the womb of the Virgin Mary in Hebrews 10, 4 and 5. So, where do we go from there? The Jew is not finished. The Bible teaches that during the tribulation hour, there's going to be one of the greatest revivals in history. Millions are going to get saved in Revelation 7, verses 9 and 14. But guess who's doing the preaching? 144,000 Jews. Now the Jehovah's Witnesses have claimed to be that group, and so have the British Israelites. No, 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 no. What are their names in Revelation 7, verse 8? Judah, Reuben, Gad, Aser, uh, Nephtalim, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi, Isidar, Zebulun, Joseph and Benjamin. <laughs> now, Rex, does that sound like Sir Heathcliff or Winston Churchill? <laughs> no, these are Jewish names because God is not through with the Jews. They're here forever. But Cardinal Ratzinger did the new catechism. He is now Pope Benedict XVI. And listen to what he says on number 765. The 12 tribes of Israel are the foundation of the new holy city of its gates. Amen. Let's take a look, friends, at how the different nations are aligning themselves right now. New World Order, same as the last. Now take a look, please, at this next headline. What do they mean? Ahmadinejad and Chavez say united to change world order. They're going to do it, they say. Obama says Venezuela has right to Russian nuclear aid. Take a look at the Russian plans. We will provide Syria with advanced missiles despite Israel and U.S. protests. You wonder where we are going, friends. The Bible is very clear on it. Where are we going, Jack? 
The Bible says in Ezekiel 38 and 39 that Gog, Magog, Meshach, Tubal, and Rosh, which is Russia, and these are all cities in Russia right now, will fight the war of the latter years and the latter days, Ezekiel. That's 38 verses 1, 2, 8, and 16, and they're defeated along with an Arab federation. So, Mr. President, we are going to be fighting the Muslims in the future. And that Arab federation is found in... Daniel 1140, for the greatest alignment in history, Russia and China and Turkey. That's Tagarma of Ezekiel 37, like you said in the beginning, all joining together. Oh, how we need to be living for the Lord. Our time here is short. Because the Bible makes it very, very clear. The Lord doesn't want us to be ignorant about anything, especially His second coming. Is it very soon, Jack? It's so soon, it's unbelievable. Jesus said, you will know when it's near, even at the door. Now, there's seven things that had to happen. None of them happened until this generation. Jesus said, the generation that lives to see these seven things shall not pass. And number one, there had to be a new world order, the European Union. And that's Daniel chapter 7, verses 7, 8, 20, and 24. And they are now at 27 nations. They're planning to go to all 247. And all 247 have been divided by the Club of Rome, one of the organizations pushing for the New World Order. It's here. Secondly, they had to have a system whereby they could keep track of everyone. And at their great meeting in Virginia, they planned the microchipping of every human being, that's during the tribulation hour. That happens a number of months after we're gone. It's here. Number three, there had to be an Israel. And you'll see why in a moment. And they became that on May 14, 1948. Number four, there had to be a Jerusalem in the hands of the Israelites. And that happened during the Six Day War of June 5th through 10th, 1967. Now, why is that important? Because Sign number five is Russia, Ezekiel 38 and 39, and 18 times it mentions that they invade Israel. There was no Israel till 1948, and this is the war of the latter years and latter days, and mark it, it's there, Ezekiel 38, verses 8, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, chapter 39, verses 2, 4, twice in 7, 9, 11, 12, and then uh, the 23, 25, 29, it's there. And then there had to be a China who makes the second move, and that is happening. And they're the ones mentioned coming from the east in Revelation 16, 12, for the greatest war in history in Revelation 9 to 14. And there had to be an Iran who hated them and joins with Russia and China to liquidate them from the face of the earth. You know, some people say, well, I live a good life. We can't work our way to heaven, friends. That's why Jesus died. We need to have him in our hearts. Have you ever opened your heart to the Lord, allowed him to forgive you of all your sins, be your savior? Jack, would you show us how today to be ready? Oh, let's call my heart's precious Jesus. Pray it. God in the human flesh, the God who loved me and died for me, shed his blood to save me, cleanse me, Thank you, Jesus. Today, I receive you, Jesus, into my heart. Come in. Be my Savior. I pray this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Oh, I trust that you prayed that prayer. How good to know the Savior will save our souls and he'll give us peace right now, forgive us of our sins and make us ready for heaven. If you prayed that prayer, there's my address. Please write to me. I would love to send you this little booklet, First Steps in a New Direction. You want to go a new direction? Oh, how easy it is to get into situations we don't want in our lives. The Lord will take you in a new direction. Write to me. I'll send this to you as soon as I hear from you. That's why we've come into your home, so you can have a new life in the Lord. I want to hear from you. And now... I just want you to know that everything we've been talking about today, as I said before, is here in our wonderful offer of the week, the Jack Van Impey Prophecy Bible. And here is our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Don't put it off. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. My friend, to order your Jack Van Impey Prophecy Bible. 
Have your credit card ready and call toll free 24 hours a day, 1 800 JVI 7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now back to Rexella. Thank you so much, Chuck. And don't put it off. Make the call or write right away. One of the greatest gifts that you could give at any time of the year. You know, friends, sometimes when we're in this life, we want to gather as much as we can and have as much as we can, don't we? This is a good saying. Beware of luxury. Too often it swells the head instead of the heart. We'll look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you so very much, and so do we. We'll look forward to being with you again. Until then, God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>